Take care of the leeches here in a second. Oh, Jesus! Hello? Jake, what the hell is going on there? Oh, come on, speak to me, Jake! Why don't you respond this? Mia! Mia? God damn it, this radio. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I had an accident. I don't know what happened. Please, help? Over. Well, hello there. My name is DJ, and welcome to my new series for a game called Green Hell. So, as you guys can see already, uh, I decided to start off in story mode, since I never played it before, and with the new long-awaited uh, building update, you know it's a good time to jump uh, into the game and see uh, see what the game has to offer. I've heard the story mode is pretty good, so I'm definitely excited, and especially for all the new building stuff. I do have some experience in the game, like I played a little bit of a survival, but only like uh, only for a little bit. So, so yeah, let's uh, let's jump right into it. Pick some mushrooms. I do recognize this place since uh, I kind of spend most of my time around here in uh, in survival mode. It's a really good spot. See how we're doing. Please, it's already two o'clock. Yeah, we gotta gotta make sure we have some uh, some shelter before nightfall. Luckily, just uh, over there is a little village we can uh, start off with. Oh, here's our first little threat, and tails. I usually tend to walk into those a lot. <laughs> also snakes. Snakes are kind of kind of my uh, the bane of my existence in, the, in this wonderful world. Want to be careful in the water. Uh, there are stingrays in the game, and as the name suggests, they do like to sting you. Hi buddy. Let's see here, uh, we should be almost there. Oh yeah. Like this little patch of grass, it's a really good spot for uh, hunting animals as you can see. So that's why this is probably one of my favorite spots. Ah. I need this. Gotta be some stone around here. One stone. Two stones. Three. Make us a stone blade. Let's see, uh, where was it? Oh yeah, yeah. This plan will allow us to make uh, bandages. So definitely need to constantly keep an eye out for those. Like, let's make some right now. Yeah, one thing about this place is it's a uh, pretty uh, 
Uh, the Jaguar likes to patrol around here very often, so it's not uh, not always a lot of fun. Uh, these plants usually chop uh, chop nuts. So we're gonna chop down one of these real quick. There we go. We we'll wanna grab those dry dry palm leaves. There we go. That will allow us to start a fire. Speaking of that, we want to make a fire starter, which we do with one uh, one small stick and one regular stick. Perfect. Got that ready. And there's the little village. But what you want to do first is you want to follow this little. Uh, what a stream. Oh, there's our buddy Stingray. But is this the place? No, it's the next stream. My bad. Ooh, maggots. Perfect. Maggots will allow you to uh, clean up your wound if it uh, gets infected. So that's the spot we were looking for. This little waterfall because there's an obsidian stone. An obsidian is uh, usually more durable than regular stone. So we are probably gonna make our first spear with that. Oh. The backup plant, real handy. If you make dressing with those by combining uh, one of these and one of these, they will uh, they will help with the venomous wounds. See, uh, it is slowly getting dark. We do have a place to sleep over uh, at the at the village over there. But before we do that, we uh, do have to make sure we have a place to sleep. I mean, uh, to save. But let's work on that real quick. Also, a giant wreck, real handy. And some charcoal. Ooh, oh. It's a map. Nice. Okay, or this is not where you find the. Left of it. This is not where you find the map in survival. So that's really cool. Oh, nice. Nice. Get some long sticks. There we go. And you want to open up your craft menu. Put one of these in. Two of these. No? Oh, it's just one rope. So one rope, a long stick, and one obsidian stone. Now we got ourselves an obsidian spear, which is pretty much one of the stronger spears in the game, I believe. And let's go make ourselves a little lean to, or whatever it's called. I will go over this uh, little menu in the morning. But as you guys can see, it's a lot more organized. Now where's the shelter? There we go. Can we squeeze in here? No. Uh, yeah, right here we'll do that. Wash ourselves. See what time it is. Uh, 
yeah, let's get some sleep. Uh, we'll get a fire going and all that goodies. And we'll save as well. Alright, it is now morning. Let's see how we're doing. Definitely need some carbs. Let's eat these bananas. Uh, we need fats and proteins and water. Alright. Pretty sure we gotta boil this guy. That might be our first uh, meat uh, source. Perfect. Oh, don't drink the water. That would have been bad. Oh no! There's a stingray coming for us! Hurry! No! Please don't get stung. Oh. Thank goodness. Ooh, my anxiety. There was no boy, no. What is wrong with us? Oh. Leeches. That is real good. Let's see, uh, do we have some coconuts? On the ground, maybe? Check over here real quick. Mm, nuts. Perfect. One of these trees gotta have a coconut. Alright, that's fine. It's not the not the worst thing. Let's go make a fire and then set up uh cook up some of this meat. What do we have here? Fire is a what? A small fire. Okay, interesting. We'll check that out here in a minute. And of course it's natural that you drink uh, a strange brew that is sitting there. But I don't recognize that from survival, so I imagine it has to do with the story. I'm always short on sticks. Yeah, here's a couple. Alright, let's go make our fire. Use. Put some dry leaves in there. While this is cooking, since we end up uh, with quite a few bones, we can uh, make ourselves some armor. So you need two ropes, uh, three bones, and one of these. There we go. I think bone armor is uh, the second strongest in the game. Oh, did it. Top on the ground. Oh yeah, that's fine. Make the second one first. Two, three. And two rows. There's also a uh, banana leaf armor. We don't have the resources to uh, make some yet. And also stick armor, I believe. 
which is also really good. But I usually prefer to make bone armor since you do tend to get a lot of bones here and there. I am definitely gonna look for a place to set up a, a water base at first. Maybe on a little pond or a river. Wish you can hold the button to keep uh, picking stuff up. My keyboard is very loud and it tends to uh, pick up on the microphone. Still good keyboard though, it's just loud. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're gonna get water though. I'm a little bit nervous about that. There we go. God, I'm thirsty. I know, buddy. Oh, this food already spoiled. This food is super useful because it uh, cures parasites. Which you can get by uh, by drinking dirty water or uh, eating food while dirty. So you always gotta make sure to wash yourself before you eat. Let's use the rest of these banana leaves to make some more armor. This time it will be stick armor. I think it's three sticks and two ropes. Awesome. You definitely want to make armor as soon as you can because these jaguars are no joke and it will also protect you from uh, ant bites and bee stings, which is amazing. And rashes aren't too bad in the game, but getting a laceration that, uh, that could potentially uh, kill you. If you're not careful. What do we have here? <laughs> nice. Completely forgot about that to be honest. It's gonna be quite a few things that I uh, either don't know or don't remember. So. Alright, now meat is cooked. Let's... oh. I was about to say let's uh, put out the fire but we can't. <laughs> Save again. No. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Lambda two. Doesn't ring a bell. We'll slowly go through this so you guys can read. Okay. So we gotta make some ayahuasca. Really need to find some water soon. It's not good. Still no coconuts. I'm trying to think of what else gives water. I know. Not gonna be drinking dirty water unless we can find those fruits again that help us get rid of parasites. More maggots. Might have a deal. No, got something at least. There we go, that's a little bit better. Oh, I think I just saw a coconut fall. Oh uh, yes, perfect. Seen that? You can slice these in two. The flesh. And eat that. 
if we can get one more, then we are set. If we can knock these down. Sweet. Let's drink again. Awesome. Try this again. A little bit tricky where to aim. There. Nice. And we can combine these. Oh. Put some rope. Awesome. Take care of the leeches here in a second. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. That scared the crap out of me. See? Armor saves the day. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> the way I just chuck my axe at him. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That's probably how I how I would react in real life. Just chuck something at him. <laughs> Hope for the best. Alright. These are pretty good on water now. We can lay these out in the open. Can leave your stuff out for a little while. Like they do uh, disappear eventually, but uh, I think it's like after maybe six or seven days. Not sure about that, but All right, I think in the morning we'll make that uh, ayahuasca stuff and see if it progresses us to the story. For now I'm gonna just chill here and uh, recover from the little Jaguar attack. <laughs> Alright, so I'll bring you guys back in the morning. Alright, good morning. Drink some water. And, uh, well, we'll probably end up raining, so away with that. Grab the ash and the charcoal. Oh, speaking of that, let's use this ash. Make some ash dressing. There we go. I think that should prevent our wound from... Um, getting infected. So we can use that until we get some uh, ants. Alright, let's go see if we can make this uh, ayahuasca stuff. Oh, before we go, let's save. And during the night I did try to make uh, a little roof over this drying rack and for some reason it's not letting me. I have done this before so I'm not really sure. It's not letting me this time. It looks like the building update did not really fix a whole lot, but you know what? It's it's all right. We can make ourselves a drying rack somewhere else. So I did look up. Uh, there's one more thing we need, which is conveniently placed over here. Is these berries or whatever they are? There we go. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Should have more dry leaves. Let's use our hand drill and let's see what happens. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. 
There we go. Now we gotta add one of these. Oh, or not. How do we... Are we doing it? Oh yeah. There we go. Got a good feeling of what's about to happen. I mean, not a good feeling. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I didn't realize I had control. <laughs> hey, wait! What? Oh man. This is really trippy. Ooh, butterflies. Let's follow this random kid while we're chipping. Oh man. Getting a bit uh, motion sickness from this. Oh boy. Let's get the butterflies. <laughs> oh. Hey, kid. Where are you? Where? Oh, wow. Where am I? Don't question it, Jake. Just, uh... Just sit it out. Hello? Do you remember how we got here? Uh, no. Mia? Mia? Is that you? First contact is always difficult. They're extremely weary. I, I don't remember anything. You, you were calling to me, I ran out of the tent and... They have to be. Civilization is killing them, and we don't even realize it. Mia... Maybe... It would have been better if I'd just died back then. Village. Okay, I think it's telling us where to go. Oh, this is where we started out. Okay. I see. Mia? Mia! I... When the American colonization began, the conquistadores brought their diseases here with them. Many tribes were wiped out, and the rest moved even deeper into the jungle. Chief Kuini went on and on about whole generations of his ancestors being decimated, until they received a gift from the jungle. And me? <laughs> Naively, I assured them Good intentions. I love those hair cells. <laughs> Just let me. Let me touch you. No. They trusted us. 
embraced us as their own. They even... They even shared their secret with us. Dios mío. ¿Qué hemos hecho? Looks like she uh, done some ayahuasca as well. I just wanna. Take the gift. Jake, come in, please. I need you. Mia? Wait! I'm here! Hello? Jake? Back to reality. Please. I can't live without you. Mia? Is it really you? What happened? Are you safe? I was hoping you could tell me that. You called me in the middle of the night, and I, I, I ran out to look for you, and all I remember is running and falling? Wait, you fell? That doesn't sound good. Okay, okay um, take it easy. Breathe. Do you know where you are? I... I, I have no idea. Give me some clue as to your whereabouts. A landmark or something. Uh, yeah. I have a GPS on my watch. Can you write this down? Yes, but... You have the map and the GPS. We weren't supposed to split up and... God. This is all my fault. It kinda is, Maybe. to be honest. There has to be another way. Found a map. It's half burnt, but there's a location marked on it. Uh, Lambda 2. Not sure what it is. Do you? No, I don't think so. Can you get there? Well, I will try. You... tell me... left me. Mia? Come again? You're breaking up. Mia? Mia! Oh, fuck! Battery's dead. <laughs> yeah, this guy likes to curse a lot. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, whoops. That's okay. Alright. Hello? Mia? You there? Jake? Oh my god, I'm freaking out here. Why did you go silent? What happened? Battery died. I had to charge it, and we can't talk long. Just tell me where you are. I'll find you somehow. on you, okay? Report everything. I'll always be here for you if you need to talk. Okay. Okay, will do. Over and out. Oh boy, that's a lot of dialogue. Alright, I think with that being done, uh, we should probably wrap up this episode. So if you end up enjoying the video, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.